Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. And we are coming to you live. That is right. There is, we are live. We're doing it live. People have walked through here. So if that happens, um, well, I hope it does happen, frankly. But we are coming to you live from uh, Times Square, New York, DCD Connect in New York City, and I'm here with Logan Morello. Logan is the Managing Director and CEO of AD Carbon Data. Logan. Yes, Dean. I love your suit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And I, know, I appreciate your being here. For our viewers that don't know already, why don't you tell them a little bit about AD Carbon Data? Yeah, So, and thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it, the opportunity. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to take it a little different direction, right? Uh, <laughs> let's let's AD, do this. AD Carbon Data is really, it, it is a company per se, but mm -hmm. it's more of a mindset of sustain, rooted in sustainability. Okay. It's bringing a fresh set of eyes and perspective to this industry. Um, you know, I think in the future, we're going to need more of that. We're going to need more mm -hmm. of innovative solutions that are going to power the future. We talked a little bit about the young folks and the That's next right. generation. Yeah. They're going to want to have a little bit of that impact, that control over what is next. Mm -hmm. um, so that is really what we're concerned with. Um, you know, we're, we're very much collaborators in our community, our, our local and state governments, you know, municipalities, and all the way up to the Senate, right? So yeah. we understand politics is a, is a big mover when it comes to energy, yeah. uh, data center yeah. nowadays. So yeah. um, we, we, we are focused on sharing the mission of sustainability. Mm -hmm and then finding opportunities for innovation and collaboration amongst typically different players than you'd imagine, right? But some of that's just driven by necessity right now. It, so. it, it, that, that, is, that is true. Um, I, love the, I love the message. Um, I love the story. None of it happens without folks like you. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And you mentioned the word energy. Number one, you're bringing the energy. I love that. But let's talk about energy in the data center sure. and what that look, what are, what does the future of energy in the data center look like now, and where do you want to see it go? Yeah, and that's, thank you for setting me up for that. Yeah, 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 um, welcome. So I, I got asked this uh, on a panel I did yesterday mm -hmm. about energy, about power. I think we're all aware of the constraints and the challenges around even attaining power right now. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about sustainability, which everyone's kind of focused on as well, um, even though AI seems to have taken a little bit more of a priority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still know that that is coming. But you don't have you don't have AI without the power. You don't have AI without the power. Yeah. So, um, you know, traditional markets that would have cheap power, uh, even renewable power that have stood up, mm -hmm. it, there's nothing left. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think you're going to see, and and you know, this is not uh, news, right? It's not breaking news, but I think you're going to see hydrogen become a lot more prevalent. I think uh, there was a fantastic panel earlier this morning. Uh, talking about markets that I would have never thought four or five years ago, yeah. like Louisiana, Mississippi was mentioned, right? Yeah. Uh, that typically wouldn't have a data center, but because there's power there, yes. because the workloads are changing, the requirements are changing, uh, I think you're going to start to see hydrogen, mm -hmm. right? People are doing this right now. Again, right. it's not new news. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but people are doing it, not new news, but it is a relatively uh, back burner topic. But it is. But we're and, hearing more about it now. Yeah, and and the other part of that is the storage, the efficiency, the transmission. Uh, there was a great another great panel this week. Go figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another great one here at DCD um, about the logistics and the cost benefits, a business perspective yeah, yeah, yeah. of hydrogen. Um, so I think that will be a half step to I believe that we're going to eventually go out of necessity. Mm -hmm. um, whether that comes from a regulatory pressure or just a sustainability and energy need. Either way, is fine. <laughs> nuclear <laughs> yeah, energy. Yeah, there it is, yeah. I, I, uh, you know, I've got some great uh, friends and advisors. Uh, I have been, you know, about five years ago, I mm -hmm. started just looking at it, you know. Um, there was some talks and I was, I'm a yes. curious person. I can tell. So I started <laughs> going to the people that, that knew the most, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, from a uh, sustainability perspective, it's far and away uh, the most sustainable solution for the future. And when you're talking about the workloads that we're going yes. to need, uh, you know, in our iMasons meeting yesterday, um, yesterday morning, hundreds of gigawatts, 38 gigawatts in the next 10 years. And then the hyperscalers are saying that they are going to be 
doubling the capacity that they've built in the last 10 years. Yeah. So double that yeah. in the next 10 years. Yeah. So that calls for a different kind of energy uh, power generation solution. Yeah, so I, it's, it's funny, we, we, we talk about generations and generational thinking and generational uh, technology sure. and, but there's, there, you know, I, I, and the more, the more people I talk to, the more I'm, I'm seeing and hearing generational energy production and nuclear becoming part of that conversation again. And I, and I have to like, I'm going to ask you, it, yeah. it, it ain't our three mile Island nuclear issue anymore. No. This is not the same thing. No, no, there are, um, there are some exotic designs, right? Mm -hmm. When you talk about SMRs, MMRs, yes. uh, we've been talking about this a lot lately. Yeah. Um, but there are some exotic designs, but there's some really good designs out there. We've got a couple companies represented here today. Um, it's very safe. Yeah. It's very sustainable and it gives you the right amount of power that you need. Uh, right. I, so the public perception, I is know what you're that's on. it. I think the younger generation, younger than me even, um, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I get pretty old. I know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I think they, they're not as aware of some of that underlying subconscious. So yes. Fukushima, right? You, you could probably bring it up to a young person. But I don't even know what Fukushima is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can kind of position, it's a branding exercise, really. Yeah. But the technology is there. There's very safe ways that you can produce nuclear energy right now. And education, especially as it relates to the future generations, is key to kind of ending that that stigma. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I, uh, I had the fortune of going to the uh, Forbes 30 Under 30 conference last year. Cheers. I got an invite. <laughs> right? He was a friend of mine, but uh, I, I was over the age. But yeah. um, I talked with, I, my mission was to talk to 100 kids, yeah. right? essentially yeah. younger people, yeah. about data centers. There was two that knew it. And both of them said, yeah, I think my dad did something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. So, uh, you know, just the education there, yeah. you, know, you start to realize what what kind of gritty hard work has to be done yeah. to educate those yeah. folks. So I work closely with UCF, mm -hmm. um, USF, right, our local um, higher education institutions, um, STEM education program. See, I, that I, it, that is put the, in the grassroots work. stuff. You got to roll up the yes, sleeves. That's it. You know, uh, Siri with Schneider Electric um, and I Mason's marriage. She's holding uh, a nice thing this Love morning. Love the folks over at Schneider she's too. She's doing yeah. a great job this morning. Uh, hundreds of kids were over there learning about data. So, Hot we dog. we need more yeah. investment there, yeah. and I think quite naturally, we'll be able to tell that message that that branding about nuclear, about hydrogen, mm -hmm. and who knows, maybe there's something that we haven't figured out yet. And it will be them. And it will be them that it, will come in and say, yeah. "Well, all this is wrong." Yeah. You know, yeah. Some crazy person. Yeah. Right? No, I hope. I hope. I They're hope, the best. I, I hope that, that's exactly. <laughs> the crazy, the crazy ones. Those are my favorites. Okay, I've got to jump back onto the. Sure. I just want to make sure. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip a question, okay? Um, because we hit some of the other stuff. Uh, the death of carbon emitting data, the world's first carbon negative data yeah. refuge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. is yeah. this, Logan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Dean. Well, you're welcome. Um, so, the mission when I started this company was to build a net negative carbon data center. Now, again, I was one of those crazy people. Crazy said, good. <laughs> if this is what we need, I can find a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of complexity to that. Uh, there's a lot of change that has happened, but I thought of it as not just a gray box, but a refuge that is connected in somewhat of an ecosystem, kind of symbiotic relationship mm -hmm. with community businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, we started talking to distilleries, started talking to sanitation, uh, you know, municipal, um, you know, plants. The, and these things. verticals that seemingly have facilities similar to what we traditionally think about. Of a data center. Right. And and the biggest thing was, what is the byproduct of a data center? It's heat. Yeah. And, and we, you know, in the Europe, they do a really good job of this. The Nordics, they do a really good job with district heating and things. We have a little bit more built out, mature infrastructure here in the States. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the success that we've been having is with smart city conversation because you're building from the ground up. But when you don't have that fortune, uh, you will have to get collaborative with your local government. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Your your community businesses. Yeah. And you have to find a way to collaborate. You know, I, yeah. I think that's one of the big things is what I like to say is uh, we were in a industrial revolution. Right. Henry Ford. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, the yeah. Production line. 
Then we had what we're kind of still in now, which is the information age, mm -hmm. where you're kind of hoarding your information, data, yeah. right? Yeah, Kept yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is value, it's business value. We're kind of getting into, we're bleeding into what I like to call the collaboration age. And I think a great use case of this is open AI, uh -huh. right? They're going through some, <laughs> there's some issues, they're some great, challenges. they're great. They're, they're pioneers, right? They're pi a lot of people yeah. in this AI space are pioneering. Yeah. They're breaking rules. And there is some legal things, right? Yeah. But I think the interesting thing is, well, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't have the tool. That's it. So it's just starting to kind of crack that collaborative yeah. um, need uh, yeah. that I think we'll have going forward. It comes to utility. You know, if we want to come back to the data center, it comes to utilities, yeah. uh, comes to the local businesses, and comes to the data center, getting involved and sharing and collaborating. I think if anyone can make that happen, it's you. <laughs> I, I, I say that. I say that honestly. Logan, thank thanks you. for being here. We appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thanks very much. You bet. You bet. Thank you bet. Of course. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay curious. Stay connected. And we'll see you soon.